Your hair holds so much energy. It's spiritual matter. It's why whenever we're going through a change or have experienced a trauma, we have that internal urge to express that energy on our hair. We want to color it, cut it all off, or do something drastic that makes us feel like the hair has been dramatically altered or removed and therefore has dramatically altered us or removed us from the past situation. I'm celebrating the end of 2023 by refreshing my energy. My hair is already clean, so I'm doing a clay mask to feed my scalp some beneficial minerals and using a clay to freshen my energy just feels right. There's a magnetic pull to clays and I want to pull out all that old energy to make room for the new. 2023 was a really, really tough year for me. I'm truly thankful to have any hair on my head at the end of this year, based on all that I've experienced emotionally and mentally. 2023 was the culmination of all of the battles I've been dealing with for the past four years. It was really painful and hurtful, honestly. I lost a big part of myself this year and felt like I no longer knew who I was. I almost let my circumstances overcome me, but I kept fighting. I couldn't see the finish line, but I knew that if I just kept going and persisting, it would show itself to me. I haven't crossed that finish line yet, but what's important is that I can now see it. If you've had a challenging 2023, just know that you're not alone. We're all showing our best moments on social media, but you never know what someone is dealing with in their offline life. I want you to know that it's okay to not have everything perfect. It's okay for you to have setbacks, and that doesn't mean that you failed. It just means that on your journey, you're ebbing and flowing, and that's normal. You can't have flowers without the rain, and every day won't feel good. But as long as you remember that a bad day doesn't equal a bad life, your good day will be right around the corner. In fact, it could just be a bad hour. You never know when the tides will change, but the point is that the tides will change and you just need to hang on until it does. One of my favorite quotes is, the only constant in life is change. And I had a really hard time with change when I was younger. I've grown to accept it as I've gotten older and have had to deal with it. And, and I do realize that the only constant is change. So be grateful for the good times and don't simmer when the inevitable challenging moments occur because the change is going to come and you just have to wait for it. I don't know you personally, but I wish you so much happiness and prosperity in 2024. And when I say prosperity, I don't just mean monetary. I hope that you thrive. I wish for you the courage to tackle the challenges that you will inevitably face and the patience and knowledge that these challenges are not finite and you can get through them one step at a time. I'm wishing that you compare yourself to others less. I wish for you that you appreciate, love, and show your internal beauty. I wish for you that you invest in and save for your future. Don't try to compete with strangers on the internet or friends and family for who looks the best, who has the best things, or who lives the quote unquote softest life. I wish for you to live your best life. Whatever that is that will make you happy is what I wish for you to do, even if it doesn't trend or look cool. I hope that you find love, happiness, continued safety, and prosperity in 2024.